If you've worked in the PCB environment before, it's possible that you've come across these red rectangular boxes and you may not be sure what they are or what they're used for. These red objects are called rooms, but why do we use them? So a room is an object that only exists in the PCB and they're commonly used when you need to control the placement and layout of components or when you want to assign a specific design rule to the items in that room. They're especially helpful when you have a multi-channel design where you have repeated channels that need to have similar layouts. We cover how to add and configure rooms in other related videos. For the most part, components are meant to stay inside of that room, but that can be changed in the room definition design rule. Although you can modify the size of the room manually, you can also define the size of the room from here as well. Whenever components are moved outside of a room, you'll get a DRC error if the rule is set up that way. In a multi-channel project where the same schematic has repeated circuitry, the room would allow you to replicate the layout that was initially routed. Not only can you save time with the copy room function, but this also prevents us from having an additional schematic for each channel.